Hey everyone, my name is Mox Chapman. My guys play games, back with some more. Donkey Kong Country 2 unveiled, and uh, wow. Man, we've come a long way. It's it's been I've come a long way. Who we people play for Bap woo. It's been a long time. It really has, fuck. Feels like I've been playing this game my entire life. And yet here we are, last level. La well, last normal level. The Kong Pendium. And based on what the preview I've seen, uh, it looks like this is going to be kind of like, um, a, I guess you could call it a cast of characters level, where we're basically going to have to deal with every enemy at some point or another that's been in the game so far. At the very least, it seems like all the unique enemies, like these guys, which is pretty cool. Seems pretty appropriate, actually, for the last level. <coughs> Which is pretty cool. I think those blue neeks are invincible? I don't even know, to be honest. Oh, this guy. Shucks! I'm panicking so bad! Okay, okay, okay. Just take it easy. Take it easy. That was... Yeah, take it easy, and then I just went. I didn't want to wait. I'm impatient. Come on. Give me some slack. Alright. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even put any of my safe states down. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. This level starts you off as solo Diddy no matter what anyways. I started off as Dixie and I'm still solo Diddy. Whoa! So this guy, if we really want to, we could do this. Which helps. This is when the level actually gets hard now. Ooh, that was really bad timing. Oof. Hmm. Let me just uh, move my cup here. Because I have a Slurpee. And we'll be Martin Potter blah, 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 drinking it occasionally. Let me just do this. Alright. Ooh, last level. <laughs> Can we just pretend that didn't happen? <laughs> Alright, guys, this is my first attempt at this level. I've never seen anything and I haven't died yet. You're crazy. Whoa, that guy's bad. Alright. That's too long. Hmm. Weird. You'd think after I did it for the first time, I would have done it in future attempts, but instead I just kind of barely paying any attention to how I did it, even though I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of timing, you know, given that's what everything in this game is, and also that, it, that you know, that's just common sense, but instead I seem to be trying to just kind of not pay attention and do it. Oh, that was so bad, I don't even know what I was trying to do. For some reason, I keep thinking they're in the air for longer than they are. Like, dude, they jump for like a second. You gotta go when they're, like, already, like... You gotta go when they're just starting their jump, otherwise I'm not gonna make it. Oh, that was actually so close. If I hadn't panicked and jumped, I definitely would have been good. But for some reason, my initial... Like, when you're rolling in the air, it's like you're, you're, you can jump any time. But for some reason, I panicked and jumped way too soon. Okay, I have to do this. Blue Mouse. Blue Mouse kills you. I just wasn't sure because we haven't seen them in like 20 million years. I can just do that. Yeah, I'm doing the hard thing of going over them. Or, I mean, going under them, but like, for the most part, it's probably easier to do the opposite. Alright, hello, buddy. I'm hanging out on top with the cool kids. Hey, 
There we go. We got the key. Well, that's already the K? Man. Alright, let me drink my slippy. So, I'm getting deja vu. I feel like we've done something like this before. In the level that had these dudes to begin with. That cold forest. Oh, that's the next screen. So, I had a feeling it was going to be something like this because... This is the easiest way to make use of all the different enemy types that we've come across because you can just go to the next area and reload load in a different set of sprites and music and stuff. Are these guys synced up? I can't tell. Okay. Next area, let's go. So that would that would make me think that there's probably five areas, just based on how the game works. Whoa, that scared me. Oh, these are basically like those cannonballs that go back and forth, but they're the hooks. Holy crap! Yeah, get out of here. Like I want to do that crap. Ah, see, that's cute. You're gonna do that, but I can just do that. Ho ho. And look at this guy. He's cute too. He's gonna kill you. Ha <laughs> ho. How about them apples? <laughs> the invincible clomp. Wait. <clears throat> Ooh, that's scary. Kinda. Wow. That isn't even like a custom enemy, that's just that walking crook that only ever shows up like, in like what, like one level? And he shows up like twice? Like now I think about it, it's kinda funny. Almost every other crook in the game just kinda stands there, waiting for you to come to them. But not that guy, he's proactive. Whoa, crap. You know, it would have been easier for me to just go from above, but now I'm kind of stuck here. Crap, that was risky. That I, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. That was the worst timing I think I may have ever have done. That was so early, it's not even funny. Like, what the hell did I just do? I must have bet there's uh, like something up there, because that crook wasn't in the way. I just died like an idiot. What about this? Feels like that's like, uh, all right. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the second area. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. I'm slightly embarrassed. Wait, a cannonball. Oh, God. I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> you probably have to get through this whole area with that cannonball. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I have a midpoint, so whatever. Big whoop. Yeah, because, like, look at that. Well, maybe you just need to keep it to a certain point. Ah, no, you definitely need to keep it the whole time. Well, that's fine. Hmm. Wow, am I really already at the midpoint? The worst thing about this midpoint is it's actually, like, kind of scary because it's like, in my head, I'm thinking, huh, you know, the original Animal Antics is kind of infamous for having a, a midpoint that kind of pops up pretty early in the level, right? Because normally it pops up, like, you finish two of the areas and you still have three to go in the original game, and the three ones that you have to do are the hardest, right? The Ratley, Squawks, and Squitter section are way harder than the On Guard and Rampy section. Not to mention the Rampy section is just like super short. 
So I kind of just naturally is inclined to be a little on the short side, rather. You know what I'm saying? Oops. Oh no, did I just bone myself? Okay, I'm good. Fuck. Well, I guess we'll get an idea of how far I have to go. Whoa! Yeah, we definitely need to keep this for longer. Look at this. This is a cool section. I'm kind of disappointed that I screwed myself so early. Oh, that's ge- wait. That's genius, but what is this? What is this for? Why is that there? Huh. I'm gonna put the safety there so I have both my Kongs. It's kind of funny. I messed up and it's still like, I learned. Oh. You always start this level as Diddy Solo? That's funny. Huh. Oh, I wonder if that exclamation point barrel is purely there just to make it so that if you mess up, then you can come back and like it's a little easier in the next try because you can just kill everything to begin with. But I mean, that's I don't know. I'd rather just do it my first try. All right, that's a lot of work. That's that's less like there to make it easier and more just like it helps, but it isn't like you know what I mean. Oh, I'm really glad I made that. Right. No! Nuts. Because, like, keep in mind that, like, oh, uh, maybe it's even there just to be, like, because, like, it's not like I can get past it. Well, I can do this. I mean, at this point, it probably is easier for me to do this, like this, than to actually go back. Which is the funny thing. Because this section is only hard because of the cannon. The actual platform is pretty easy. So I can just do this. Hey! Stop sucking me up. There. Dealt with. I wonder if there's any other purpose to this, though. Makes me wonder. Like, it feels out of character for this game to have something like that. Like, an exclamation point barrel like that. Just for funsies like oh yeah it helps if you skipped everything but it's like helps who you know it b i had a feeling that was gonna happen eventually but that's annoying whatever yeah and this is like impossible as diddy or as dixie because she barely has any throw that's another thing it's actually way easier first time because the bees help suck up things if you get what i'm saying like for this first part i can just throw this and it's there you go i'm good but if I do it on future attempts, I have to like actually like properly like aim this, which is kind of tricky. <laughs> ah, damn it! Why does that keep throwing me off? That's not hard. All of a sudden, I can't deal with bees. I wonder if I should just jump across there and throw it or something. Who knows? But yeah, like, this is way harder as, like, that. See? Hmm. It's funny how I was making fun of this, but now I'm, I keep getting stuck here. But, like, the thing is, is, like, it's super short, and you're not really missing out on much if you mess up. Like, you just... You don't even necessarily die. It doesn't make it any less embarrassing that I keep screwing this up. Like, this isn't even hard! What is wrong with me? Look how big this gap is! Maybe I should have Dixie. 
The thing is, is that Dixie will throw a little further, but Diddy throws way faster. So I think for the this one, it's probably easier to do like that. And then for the one where this guy's moving, this is the one I should do this Diddy. There. I almost made a despawn. I wonder what the trick for this is. I think it's like just maybe stand where the light is. Mm, that feels like it's gonna drop too fast though. Try to stay next to light maybe. Oh, that's close. And then this one I can just do it. Hell, I can just jump across this gap. This is kind of in the same boat. This one's super easy too. Like, it seems like it's hard, but like, there's so much time for the bee to just like, kind of hang out. Like, okay, yeah, but like, like, see what I mean? Like, this is easy. The only one that's hard is the middle one, and even then it's not that hard. All right, I think we're good. Oh God, I have to pee. P or bonus stage? Wait, is this actually giving me the bonus stage? Oh no, whoa! I never in my life did I expect this. Alright, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, I thought about it when I was doing my stuff, and it's like, eh, I'm just gonna go in here. Wow, those can work like that? I seriously thought those could only, maybe, I guess it's custom made or something weird, I don't know. Who knows? I never even realized those could work like that. Like, that's really cool. Oh, yeah, it just takes me. I was like, huh? Oh me, oh my. I can only assume that once I go to that barrel, this bee's gonna start chasing me. And that makes me very afraid. All right, we're gonna go. That's, that's not good. I got hit by the first, like, non-ops, like, B, basically. Yeah, those ones are hard to avoid. Holy crap, I just, it's all that, and I just died, like, the first two Bs, because this is way harder all of a sudden. Well, that's fine. Like, I wanted this to be kind of hard. I mean, this is the final level, man. I'm kind of surprised I made it to the midpoint in, like, two tries, basically. So I'm glad. Alright, so we're gonna throw like there. I got this guy, we're gonna throw with Diddy, because he's got, you know, the faster throw. Careful not to let it go too far off screen or else it'll just kinda be like gone. Got this. This is spot we want to throw like right next to the lights, so, like right a little further, so like something like th like that, I'd say, right at the top of my hop. There we go, perfect. And we got this spot that's actually really easy, but it's just kind of scary more than anything. Whoop! Oh no! Okay, I was, I, I actually cannot believe that didn't despawn for me going too far down. Oh no, it's gonna drop all the way down and I'm screwed. Yeah, I keep saying it's not hard and then I, it's because I'm impatient. I'm an impatient little motherfucker who can't handle waiting two seconds for it to go up. <sighs> I mean, I guess now I can do it without the enemies in the way, which is harder. 
So that's great. Not to mention, sometimes this camo doesn't like to respawn. I don't know why. And then, for some reason, I never make this first throw as Diddy or as Dixie. I just can't do it. I pressed jump. I swear to God, I pressed it, but it didn't do. I can't do this as Dixie. So I should be able to just pick it up from inside the barrel, like easy peasy, yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, this one's easier than the second one, the first one. The first one's like a lot tighter, I feel like. So that's funny. Alright, now please, like, come on. Like, this ain't hard, buddy. Just throw it up there and, like, don't rush. Like, it's as simple as that. Don't rush. There's no reason to rush. Why rush? Hell, you could probably do this in, like, one go if you're smart about it. Just throw up and do like that. And it goes up. Wow, imagine that. That sure was easy. I realize what the ex I know what the exclamation point barrel is there for now. It's there because now that way you can hop on these guys. Hmm. Wonder if that means there's a bonus over there. Probably, if I had to guess. So going is like at the top, basically. Boom. And we're good. I wonder if there's anything else around here. Doesn't really look like it. Uh, so I thought this red bee was gonna chase us and I'm like rushing but looking at it maybe this is just like a gap oh ha, ha, the irony that I'm now gonna take a hit here to try to do this there we go oh my god is this bee even chasing me I don't even know I haven't seen it I'm just rushing because I think he is but I don't even know if that's true also this literally looks like there's a secret over there again there isn't that's disappointing because i was i thought maybe there'd be something there concern it all right well we've seen this part like a million times i'm gonna stop talking just try to concentrate and do it and you know eventually i'll finally get a good run in but now that i've thought about it i know what the explanation point barrels for so we're gonna mess with that Next time I get up there, which might take me 20 centuries, because not only do I keep missing the first throw of the level, but I, saw, I knew that one was going to mess up, but then I, this cannonball doesn't respawn! It's like it's such a little thing, but it's super annoying. Alright, see you guys then. Alright, so we're back here. What I want to do, uh, maybe this is easier by doing something like where you put it in the ball already and then you just kind of fly over and grab it. Because, like, I don't know, if I fly over there, I might, it might, wait, actually, wait, I'm stupid. Let's do that, yeah. It, he fucking, what? I know exactly why that didn't work, and that I hate the the with so the cap. But fucking fuck, really? <sighs> yeah, because the camera went over for like a half second, so he doesn't shoot for half a second, and I met. Ugh. I'm back here. Whoop de doo! Yay! Hooray! <sighs> I know it's purely my fault, but it's just like it still sucks. Big. Like, why? 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 I have to go over here twice? Like, it just doesn't... I guess it's just barely in the cusp but not respawning where it is. Man! Like, this part isn't even hard, but it's just, like, it's just time-wasting. <sighs> yeah. 
Yep, now I gotta skittle back and forth while the camera doesn't want to scroll for some reason. Wow, it really doesn't want to go for some reason. That's weird. Really just wanted to hang out on the left for, you know, the reasons I can't begin to fathom. Ugh, I'm being a big baby about this, but it's like, come on! Cut me some slack, man. Why does that guy stop shooting me in with? It's like he's an obstacle. Ugh, what, whatever. Like I said, you know, when we're back, we're back. So I'll see you then. Oh, it's a Right, yeah. Remember, Dixie throws farther. That would have been a fun way to screw it up for the second time. Please, why, why, why? You, you just didn't want to jump? You just didn't feel like it? You just wanted to face tank it? God damn it. If I knew ways to screw this up every goddamn time, eh? Hallelujah. Okay, okay, okay. So just do this. Immediately swap to Diddy for his higher jump. Let him shoot a couple times. Fuck off. Fuck off! Like, ah! God damn it! It's, you have so little time to, re to prepare and react. I know full well, this isn't even that hard, but it's like, it doesn't matter. I, I'm gonna keep boning this up like an idiot. Ugh. Honestly, it almost makes me wonder if the way it's set up, maybe I should go from above. You know what, we'll try that. I'll see you back there in a sec. Alright, Dixie, give us the invincibility. Go over there. I, I don't- I, I- I panicked. I didn't even know what to do. I- I- Because <sighs> he wasn't shooting at all that time. Because I did the exact same thing as the first time. <sighs> it, it hurts because it's like you have to spend like five minutes getting it- Well, not even nearly that long. But it's just like it's- you have to spend time getting over here just to try to figure it out for 30 seconds or something. Mess it up and be back at the start again. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's plan this out. I, I didn't do what I said I was going to do because it took so long. I was panicking thinking I don't have enough time. So I don't think that's an option. I think I just have to do what I think I have to do, but I have to do it better. So first of all, let's try, let's not, try, let's try not to waste time as Diddy, if I can help it. If you know what I'm saying. Like, just jump, throw... Of course she'd fucking- he did, even at max distance, he didn't throw far enough? Like, come on! Yeah, and this takes you up here, so I'm actually, for sure, that's not what you do, because you can't even jump from up here. I don't know why I thought you could, but uh, at this point, I don't care. I'm just gonna go for it. Whatever. We messed up, big whoop. Ugh. I don't even know who I want to be for this part. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so remember, this isn't even that bad. I, it's because I kept thinking that Big B was gonna rush after us, but I'm pretty sure that is not. <sighs> of course, it's not the case. Oh fuck, you gotta be kidding! I just jumped into it because I saw the barrel. Wonderful. What? I did not press any buttons on my controller. I'm thinking about Fortnite game. Nah. Yum. I'm drinking my Slurpee, which of course my straw is frozen, because it always fucking does. Hmm. 
delish. Okay, well. I guess I'll talk for this attempt then, because even Donkey Country itself wants me to play the game. <sighs> I don't know why I consistently cannot get this first throw. I can do every other- I- This is literally the only part I mess up at anymore. I just can't do the first fucking throw. Oh god! I, that's the first time that's happened. Thank god. Cut me some slack, buddy. So let's think about this, right? So... I, I feel like if I wait too long, that first can that part with the invincibility barrel, I'm just gonna end up running out of invincibility, so I can't dawdle, but it's like, the problem is that that stupid barrel is in the way, so like, you have to jump around that crap, and that's just a pain in the ass. But like, there's really no other choice. It's not like there's any other way around it, I mean, it's, it's just there, you know? See, look how easy. The rest of this is so easy, except for that first throw. <laughs> and ultimately, I don't think that third section even looks that hard either. It's just I'm being impatient, which is like the death of everything in this game. Except when they don't want you to be impatient, or when they do want you to be impatient. Then it'll be the death of you to, you know, not do that. But I mean, that's, you, know, you just gotta figure that out for yourself. I don't, like, do I even want to switch over to Diddy when I get up there? Like, I mean, I need to get above them, though. That's the thing. So I don't really have a choice. I think what I need to do is I need to wait for this. Roll into it to get... Why did I drop so fast? He dropped like a rock. I don't understand this part. I don't- you don't interact with this shit ever in this game. Fuck, I- this, I have no knowledge of how in, invincibility works with objects like this. I- I- you don't- When do you get the chance to deal with this in the original game? Like, zero. There's like one thing- situation I can think of where it's there, but you have to kill the cannon to get to the invincibility barrel anyways, because he's inside of it. Ugh. You know, I'm just gonna say I give up on this stupid part for now and just wait till I've beaten the level, cause <sighs> yep. it, it is amazing to me that I can can consistently do everything else, but I, I I'll never be able to do this part. Like, where do I throw? There's so these bees are so fat. Go on a diet. God. <laughs> <Blah>. <laughs> I made it to the midpoint so fast, and this is like the polar opposite of like every other level in this world. Where like the first half is super easy here, but the second half is like taking me forever. I'm almost impressed how, how like opposite it is. But um, you know, that's fine. Just, just deal with it, you know? Like, it sounds like, haha, funny thing to say or whatever, like a, like a, duh sort of thing, but it's like, it's true, just, just deal with it. Everything else is easy, it just takes a little bit to get to the castle part, but even once you do, it's pretty easy. Like, even once you get here, it's just like the one part. I don't think this can hurt me. And you have this part where it's basically the same thing, just wait till the bees like right at the top and then you go. And then you do like two of like three, four of the most basic ass jumps in the world. And then you're at castle. I do not know why I think that bee's chasing us. I don't think it is at all. So, you know, there's that. So let's just take our time. Don't fall for that crap. Hey, look where I am. Ain't that fun? 
Funny thing is, having a Kong here, this will make this part way easier, because I can just ignore this part. Fact, here. Oh, my hand's itchy. Just go. Ah! See? Ooh, yeah. Got him! And it's not like that's easy, it's just, you know, that's consistent. Ain't it nice that this trick works? I think in DKC3 it does the exact opposite. Bristles in that game are just completely invincible. Ah, oh, what? Oh no. At the time of Dixie's lanky ass puberty body. These are easy though. Like it looks scary, but it's like it's actually so easy. There's something over there? There isn't? I'm shocked. That's such a weird thing to put there and there's nothing there? Unless I'm missing something, I don't know. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, just use Dixie, man. Please god, just use Dixie. Nothing over there. I see we've uh, run out of ideas. Uh, no! Why? Why do I open my stupid, dumb, fat ass mouth? I cannot believe I died to that. Oh, um, see, now that, that is the LP or curse. That is the LP curse. That is the big, that might be. <laughs> That might be the most applicable LP curse I think I've ever seen in my life. I'm sitting there making fun of it and I died to what might be the most basic ass obstacle I've ever seen in this game. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so embarrassed right now. I. <sighs> yeah, it worked. And I walked off. Cool. The first obstacle is the hardest in the whole level. Ain't it fun? <sighs> I'm gonna be right back. Ugh. <sighs> Can't wait to die to this stupid part again. I cannot believe I died to that shit. That is so embarrassing. <sighs> Easy. 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 What's that from? Remember how I died to this bee? Yeah. No! He's, that bee is way hard to dodge. Oh, that was my... That was definitely my time. Well, now I just gotta wait till that sinks up again. There we go. Even this isn't even that hard. Nothing in this level is hard at all, in fact, I would say. Except for that one B part is actually kind of tricky. <clears throat> oh, wow, wow, wow. Like, that felt harder than I did the first time. I don't know why. Anyways.
Yeah, remember this part? I cannot believe I boned this up. It's because I backed up. If you don't back up, it's impossible because, like, you, as soon as you're up here, you're not going to touch the ceiling because they have the same hitbox. But I'm dumb. I'm panicked. Just float. Literally the same obstacle every time, and I didn't do it at the same time every time for some reason. And that really is the recommended way. Oh god. Yeah, but this is easier than the other ones, because they don't go down, they go up higher. Like, I don't understand, man. Oh no, I'm boned. I had literally zero idea how to do that. The solution would have been to go up there and jump, but uh, I'm stupid, kind of froze. Actually, I probably should have just ducked in the corner, in hindsight. But I didn't really know how if he would, like, drop down really fast, or if he would just, like, kind of hang in the air. And now I know, so I'll see you guys there. Every time I play this game, castle. Every time I play chess, castle. <laughs> I think it's like basically over I get hit in this first part though. Like that's the thing. Cause that one section where the bee goes up and down and you have to jump up with them is like I've yet to get past that. I can do every other part of this level, but that part gets me every time. <clears throat> yeah, if you wait like a half second, it's even easier. Oh, that was really close. So when do I think I'll ever beat this part, huh? That time, let's go! You know what that means? Kill him for free. Now this part's easy peasy. I don't even need to throw for this part. Now to screw up this part, because I'm dumb. That's how it be sometime, right? Don't worry. Alright. What was this part again? Isn't this the part with all the mice? Yeah. But that's basically free. I'm gonna do like a little like warning jump every time just to make absolutely sure that I'm not like being in a complete Neanderthal and jumping into the ceiling. Even though it's absolutely not necessary because that shouldn't happen to begin with unless I press left. Like I don't have to press anything on my d-pad. And I still screwed it up because I was scared. And that's all that matters sometimes. See, like, it's happening here, too. Like, I can't... <clears throat> here. It's way easier when you have the Kongs. But, like, that's almost like your reward for doing this level properly. Or, like, for not messing up, as it were. Oh, God. What do I do here? Is something like this? There we go. It looked like there was more up there, but I don't know. Whoa, okay. This is weird looking. <sighs> oh no, not this guy again. Yeah, I got the K. Rudy Tootie. Oh, no! Come on! Cut me some slack. But I did it. And he opened up his big fat mouth. Ooh. Yeah, that last... That castle was the hard part. Especially those, like, couple of parts. If you didn't have a Kong, it was so much harder. And in the end, I never really did the level properly, did I? But who cares? That's not the point. I beat it 
You know, I beat, I freaking did it. I beat every level in this game. Well, I beat every level in the game except for one without save states. The only level I did use save states on was the animal level. And who knows, maybe at some point I'll come back after this LP's done. And maybe I'll just do that for funsies. Tr actually try to grind that out. Oh yeah, I can use save states now. Because we're going to go back to the level. There's, there's actually more than one thing I'm curious about with this level, though, is the thing. Fuck. Whoa! I can't believe I'm alive. Wow. Let's put a save state here. Yeah. Because there was another part I was curious about, if I remember correctly. I forget which part it actually even was. Well, it wasn't this part. Actually, maybe the, I have seen everything then. Oh no, I forgot what this ice part. Yeah, this ice part exists. Yeah, that was that crook. And as far as I could tell, he was there for no reason. Other than to just be like an obstacle that's like, just to mess with you, almost. Because it did not feel like he was there to like actually be threatening, as it were. I'm still wondering if there was anything up there. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. Really? What an, that's an embarrassing way to die. Just being impatient. The camera scrolled weirdly there, though. Let me see something there for a sec. That was weird looking. Can I do that again? <laughs> yeah! You can see the cutoff up there. So the camera kind of scrolls like was really weird there for some reason. Oh, nuts. Well, goodbye, cruel world. So yeah, this hook comes over here. Because the camera would see like, over here, now it can scroll properly. It almost makes me wonder. So if I drive down here... It's the same thing. Wait, is this the same level? It's like the same level, but with like, different obstacles. Because even this thing is still here. What the hell? That's so weird. So I'm curious about something here. Now you can't run it. Well, maybe. Can I duck under this? Not really. That's so weird though. Why? I only just now realized this is like the same level, I think. Or like this is the same obstacle. Like weird thing down here where there's like a bonus down here in the original game or something. I don't even remember now. It's also this guy here, but like, like how would you ever get hit by him? Like, look where he is. That's why I even thought there was something weird with him to begin with. But I don't think there's anything here. Unless I'm crazy. And I think if I go down here, I die. Yeah. And that's death too. This is basically the same level, but it just kind of ends after a certain point. I'm not sure if it's like literally the same level or if it's just like some copy paste oddity or something. I don't even know. Yeah, and th that jump we already proved that we couldn't make that, but uh, I don't know. Cut me some slack. There's also this spot up here. Oh, hey. Well, okay, that's cute. At least that makes sense. I'm gonna put a save state here because I I should have done this to begin with because it's way faster to do that than to like have to do the weird scrolling shenanigans. Also, that uh, banana arrow down there. Does that mean anything? I thought about that too because like why? Like what a weird pointless banana arrow. Like where else am I gonna go? Not right? Why would I go left when I started the left? But no, it's just there for funsies, I guess. I'm not even sure I'm bothering with the save states. I've never messed up any part other than that first one. That's like the first couple times when I was still learning. Because this part of the level is super easy. I dare say it's free. Okay, maybe stand a little close to the left, you dummy. Oh, 
I'll do this one because I always was always worried I'd accidentally clip the B if I like threw it at like the wrong time. Although apparently that doesn't even matter, so there you go. <laughs> like, did I call that shit or what? Oh, that never happened. You can totally jump over this guy, can't you? Yeah, wow, that's actually funny. I wonder if that's intentional. Or if you're supposed to throw it. Who knows? Alright, so let's put a save state here. Let's put it like there. So now I'm set up and I can just sit here. It's all good. Do that. Figure out how the hell to do this part. Oh, I see. Like, look how easy it is to mess up. I turned. Like, I didn't even mess it up. Like, I turned left and it removes the thing. The guy won't shoot anymore. But this stupid barrel is in the way. There we go! See? I'm gonna put save say 2 down here though, because I'm curious. That guy's like off screen. Can I kill him? Well, so where does this go? Does this just go up here? Yeah, of course it does. Alright. So we're at the... We're at the... This is the last bonus game, actually. So what is this? Something interesting, that's for sure. What? <laughs> ah, that's a trick, I see. Wow, the last bonus game even puts you right here. That's very generous for the last level of the game. I'm almost shocked it doesn't just throw you into the castle or something yeah I think we want to do something like that except the ball disappeared oh jeez well I can still throw oh I didn't expect that at all wait what did this say what kind of bonus game is this actually I didn't even pay attention. Find the token. Okay, so there's no, like, weird... It's literally just, yeah, find the token. Oh, I'm wasting time. So I think the idea here is we want to do this. Now we want to go up here and kill the bees in the way. Yeah, okay, I think I get it. Yeah, yeah. Then we just do this. Ah, oh, but I thought it'd be sooner, so I was trying to like clip him from the side. Damn it! That's a life farm right there, because you get one banana every time you fail this. Hey, <laughs> you got like a couple hours to spare. Really? You know, it's faster just to do this, anyways. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oops, wrong save state. Let's put this down here. Now we got um, save state for Diddy and for Dixie. Alright, so now I think I want to do it with Diddy because he's faster and also I can just do this. Shoot, you idiot! Why? What? Who? Before he was shooting so fast I didn't even have time. Now all of a sudden he's stalling for so long I fell in the pit. Would you just fire your cannon? Why are you so slow? What is going on? When I did this with Dixie, he was doing it like turbo speed. What is that crap? Now he's just like never firing. That's so weird. Well, there's my shortcut though. Do it with Dixie so I can just do that. Alright, so, I need to float off screen, now I need to... YES! Tell me it's coming down. It's not coming down. I really hoped it would come down with me. That would've been nice.
Okay, this last mini game. So let's really think about this instead of just like face planting myself against it several times in a row. So we have the guy that shoots. He's there. Like if he, if I have the chance, I should use him. But otherwise, I can just team throw. Um. We want to shoot up, get to that cannonball, throw it at the bee, so it's like, so we kill it. But the thing is, we still need that cannonball, because otherwise we, we don't, you know, I can't go up there again without it, so. The thing is that I'm sitting here saying, ugh, I want to strategize, but I don't think there's really much strategy to this. It's just good execution for the final bonus of the game. I don't know why he's taking so it, it, that's so weird. The first couple times I was doing this, he was non-stop firing. I don't know why it's different all of a sudden. Like, it's like he's being bashful or some weird crap. Oh, I can't need to keep, stop doing that because that's a time waster. Uh, I'm boned. Okay, um, okay, I think what I want to do for that part is I want to do what I've been doing, but when I go for the second beat, I need to, like, throw it from the, I, like, I need to, like, throw it from, uh, like, the spot on the barrel. If you get what I'm saying. Like, just throw this guy. Go like this, and now we want to drop down straight from here and just throw. Go back up here, get it right away, drop down here, because that's exactly where the bee is. Wow, that is like perfect execution you have to do. Wow. Damn. I mean, how fitting for the last bonus game to just be perfect execution. Sorry for all the time wasting, but it's like I want to drink my slurp before it freaking turns into slush. Ugh. But also, I'm kind of milking it because it is the last episode that's going to be normal, anyways. I'm still wondering, like, what's with this guy? What did I do differently? Those, like, I, I'm actually curious about this. What did I do differently those first couple times that he was firing like non stop before? But now it's like he doesn't want to. Also, oh, whoa, I just realized this. What, why is the camera like freaking out here? Do you notice this? Why is the camera doing this? It's like the, that's like the same camera that those ship levels uses. Wait, is it always like that? No, the camera doesn't move here. There's something about the bonus game that makes the camera just like not move. Is that like a setting? I thought that was something that was like inherent to the pirate ship like thing. Uh, I keep stalling, but then he doesn't fire if I do that. So I think ultimately I just have to suck up and just go fast. There's no like strategy to it or anything like that. It's just the classic gotta go fast. Let him shoot. Do this. Immediately drop down. Oh, did I just lose because of that? No, we're good. Motherfucker. I, I don't even know what to say, man. Yeah, Cranky only pops up to tell you about your progress. I think when you change. Actually, no, it pops up when you change. So, let's check him out. 
<laughs> he didn't make any progress in Hey, screw you! I'm a, I'm tied. Mm. I'm reveling in this. Just, just one more episode to go, man. Crocodile Core. You know, let's um here. Let's get a taste for this. What is Crocodile Core gonna be like? And it's black. That looks cool. Oh, so this is Dixie. Wow. Wait, is this gonna be the same level? Uh, no. Yeah, never mind. It's not the same level. It's not the same level. It's one hit. Wow. Let me give one good shake at this, though. Like, not... Not immediately. Oh, it swaps. Never mind. It's solo, but it's always, it's always like. Yeah, geez. I feel like this is going to be very. Tr uh, just looking at it, though, this is looking like it's going to be really trial and error. It's kind of spooky. I was. A, a tiny part of me was like, ooh, let's do this level. Let's do make this like one big ending, but eh. Pants. Kong Pandian, what does it say? What's behind that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. I don't have any money. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh, right! <laughs> I forgot that water hurts you for some reason. <laughs> That's like the fastest place to get your Kong, but like I forgot about, you know, the other caveat. Now I think about it, I think there's actually a coin in that level. In fact, maybe I should just do that then. <gasps> yeah, here we go, hiccups. Okay, I'm, but... I mean, I'll just do this quickly, yeah, because like... Oh! Oh, nuts. Oh, right, that kills you. You know what? Uh, how about I just do the saving off screen this time? Because. Ah, uh, but this is the last time we're gonna get to see it save. We're gonna see my percentage. So we're just gonna go the one I know and love, which is in the volcano. So we'll just do this quickly. Grab our two coins. I'm really stalling the ending of this episode, hey? But I mean, hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, what's all if I can quickly get my other con? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. You're always solo, so who cares? Screw it. And uh, just for fun, we'll, we'll, we'll save in the uh, crocodile. We'll save up in Krem Keep. Just for funsies. All right. This is the last time we're gonna save. So what's our percentage at for this part? 97%. Once we beat that last K rule fight, he thought Deku Kun, that's gonna bump us up 5%. 10 hours and 54 minutes of playtime. And that's, you know, not excluding the fact that I've used save states for starting stuff. So, like, really, that number is probably like twice as high. Right? Because anytime I load a save state, right, it doesn't count any of the, the time I spent dying. Whew. Anyways, see you guys later.